Hi folks, this is Dr. Don. I want to show you a quick way to, to get uh, code to load a data set into your environment and also into your, your work session. I had a student sent me a, a, a .rmd file and he said he was having a hard time getting his, his data to load. And this is the code he was using. The HR salary I found out is a data set that's over here in the um, the slash data folder in the work uh, site, the workspace, excuse me, in Posit Cloud. It's a CSV file. And of course, this particular code won't work. If we were uh, loading a data set that's included in a package, then something like this might work. But we need something better. One way to get the code is to go over here and click on the name of the data set you want and then click on import data set and you will uh, get a couple of things one you'll get a preview up here this shows of course the path to that that uh, csv file and it shows the uh, view of the file down here in the corner is a code preview and we can copy this code and paste it into our worksheet. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and copy that. Pause right there for a second, though. Somebody will say, well, why not just click Import and import it into your workspace, your environment? And you can see if I, I do that, it does show over here in the environment, but I still don't have code here that will load it. Now that may not be a problem if all you're doing is working right here in the environment, but if you're trying to make a reproducible document and you want to knit this R mark down to uh, a PDF or a Word document, then you need to have actual code in here. Otherwise you get an error. So I'm going to paste that in. You can see it's loading the uh, package reader into the library, just in case you don't have that. And then we've got the line that says HR salary read CSV. And we've got a final line there that gives us a function view that will, again, open this file into the um, environment so we can see it. I'm just going to run that. And you can see we've got this uh, view again. But if I go back here, I don't want to use the view when I'm trying to knit to a reproducible document. View will cause an error because it wants to open up that window. And of course, a PDF or a Word file doesn't have a way to do that. So I like to use the glimpse function, which is included in the tidyverse, G-L-I-M-P-S-E. And you can see one of the packages that we've loaded in this is the tidyverse, uh, which which will get you that particular function. And so now I'm going to run it. And I forgot to run all above. Now let's run it. There we go. And we've got a nice glimpse there that shows the variables and some, you know, dips into that a bit that we've got a numerical double variable there and a categorical variable that starts out with Southeast so we could use some other code to give us more information about what's in that. So this is a way, remember, if you're trying to knit a reproducible document, you need code in that document. It will, or will just ignore what's ever over here in the environment when you knit and you'll get an error. So hope this helps.